Hey guys, how are we doing? Mr. A2G, back again playing some more Durango. How are we going guys? Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, the first video of this series here. Um, now, I won't see it straight away because I'm actually recording back to back just for referencing here. So, basically, um, we're back playing a little bit more of this, so I'm just going to continue on. I just wanted to sort of get a bit of exploration um, into the current uh, compound, the stronghold that we've got here. And... Now that we've got a little bit more time for ourselves here, we can start equipping things and obviously have a bit of a defense happening here as well. And there's also a task that we need to complete, so we've got the achievements, so we're going to level up there. Fantastic. Alright, so basically, don't know what's happening there, but anyway. So we've got a few baskets here, we'll check them out real quick. Remove the contents, is there anything there? Doesn't look like it. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, doesn't appear that's going to be anything there. Alright. That's fine, we've got a bit of a stove happening here. So it looks like these are all destroyed, so we're going to have to sort of like rebuild them. Uh, by the looks of things. Anyway. This is the, the main area. So looking pretty, pretty cool. And I should have ran all the way back to here. Have a thing to do. Basically an island town square. They offer yeah. a lot of things that are town like square. the communication center, for example. Go check it out. Okay, so let's go check out the communication center here. Most organizations in Durango conduct their business here. It provides yeah. a next on the list of amenities. If somebody asks you to get something, the drop-off point, sending survivors to a tamed island without some guide, you won't last long without learning some new skills. How about you finish some chores I've been meaning to do? I'll... Right, so let's go back to the communication center. We're going to get our first quest. Start mission. Gonna hunt for food. Okay, so small green dinosaurs is what we're going to look for. In progress. Alright, so we can still continue to pick things up as well as we go along. We can always... Um, okay, so we need the right skill to handle it. So we need gathering skill level 5, which we're not there yet. So we've got a bit of a skill tree to look at as well, which is quite cool. Um, but we're not quite there yet, so at this point, so we're gonna have to leave that for now. Uh, pebbles, naturally, we can obviously pick up. Not a problem. And then we found a little first dino here. So this guy is a timid raptor. So it looks like the yellow indicating that it's like a neutral, I would imagine. But they're not going to sort of um, attack us. Okay, so these little crater things like that we're just going to discover around the area as well um, and we will definitely find ourselves those little, um, those little green dinosaurs that we need to work out so these guys won't hurt us which is a good thing and they'll pop up on the mini map as well so you'll be able to find out or see uh, what's coming up and above So if we need to know the next location, just got to hit the little radar button there and it's telling us to go down this way. And this guy's just come out of nowhere. Okay, there we go. So it looks like we're doing a bit of exploration around here as well. Let's go off this way. So eventually we'll probably find those little dinosaurs soon, but this is probably a good way just to sort of get us um, immersed into the game. Um, you know, just getting a feel for it as well, mechanically wise. Uh, we're also going for that, so we can go down this way. There's a wall pole here, alright. So yeah, so these wall poles, I believe this is where you've sort of been, um, if you got sort of transported from the original um, you know, era that we were in. So this is again a bit of the lore happening um, that we're sort of talking about in the first video. So yeah, so we got sort of like teleported here by the sounds of things and now we naturally have to survive. So this is 
Oop, exploration mode. Let's just go back. And, alright, so we'll go a little bit further up here. Boulder here, picking up faint noise from the crater. Okay, and where do we need to go from here? Okay, so let's go down this way. Yeah, so let me know what you think, guys. Um, you know, so far it looks like to be a very interesting game. Um, it sort of reminds me, in a sense, of a bit of um, life after. Obviously, graphical-wise and things like that, life after is a very, um, you know, a very different game. The way that's set up, but compared to say something like this, this I can see has um, quite a bit of potential going for it as well. Um, but yeah, I want you guys to let me know what you think. Are you guys interested in, in a dinosaur style game, a uh, survival game? Um, yeah, I've been meaning to get into one for quite some time now. Uh, this sort of like reminded me at the beginning um, a bit of Jurassic Survival back in the day when I started playing it a, a very long time ago. Uh, but unfortunately that, that development there pretty much stopped. So I've been looking out for a good dino game for a little while now. Hopefully this fields a void. Hopefully it does. So, um, what are we doing now? We're just racing our way down here. Yeah, let's just get a little bit more of a radar reading here. Okay, a little bit further down. I haven't seen those green little dinos yet. So, I'm not too sure what's going on here. Okay, let's just go down this way. Okay, so it was already discovered beforehand. And let's have a look. Okay, so am I running in the water? What am I doing? Oh, okay. Hayes Domain. Oh, okay. Obviously this is Hayes area. Oh, look at that. What's that? Oh, okay. But that was a dinosaur a dinosaur for a second. That's a um Hot air balloon, interesting. Where is this crater thing I've got to look for? Okay, well, it's a little bit further down. Hopefully, we'll find it very soon. So tap on the mini map. Okay, so the basis of our mini map here as well just gives us, you know, a bit of a pathway as to, you know, as to know where we've been things like that so that's always a good thing so it's like one of those little discoverable maps we've just got to keep on exploring and hopefully we find what we're looking for okay so it's a little bit further down this way okay okay, ooh, okay so we've got this food here as well so we've got banana trees kind of neat i may as well stock up on some food 100 percent definitely want to get on that we'll chop some logs down Good. Yeah, so that's it. Oh, okay, so these are little guys here. So, we attack. I'm gonna go on exploration mode. I want to attack you. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. Alright. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where is he? <laughs> Okay, so it looks like I, I sort of lost him, but anyway, we'll um, we'll try this one again. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Attack him! Attack him! <laughs> Radio. All right, so it looks like we've um, taken one of these guys to help, and got some meat. And I think we have to kill up another one. I think so. We'll go ahead and do that. bit of um, kicking around so okay so you sort of got to wait until your um, your player actually has a bit of the reboot here to um, you know to go ahead and attack once more so you've got the melee attack as well as the um, uh, the hand uh, sorry the, the kicking by the looks of things so there was sort of like a bit of a cool down time of before that um, before that happened which is fine um, so that's cool Alright, so we're going to keep moving down this way anyway. So I think we've got all that we, we needed. 
Okay, that's what's going on with the notice board. Oh, okay, so that's just a um, bit of stuff here. Very good. Okay, so that's another wall pole we found. Um, is there anywhere else that we need to discover? Okay, so there's just a couple more. Okay, so let's grab this one here. We discovered a banana tree forest as well. Okay, unlocked another Congrats achievement. Congrats on your first kill. Here we go. And good job. Really, I mean it. Awesome. It's not easy, but why don't you head back to the camp? Okay, so let's head back to camp. Okay, so we can go to camp. Hunting for okay. your meals might feel weird at first. So we can walk straight over to Okay, that's pretty neat. I apologize for the interruption, Kay. But is that a it sounds as if you're helping them hone their survival skills? Ah, Lamar. I was going to allow me to introduce our most eccentric pioneer when he's not eavesdropping anyway. Oh, well. It's not as if the dropping of ease. I, said, I just um, can't help but get excited when I hear someone trying to better themselves. So you, you guys are um, mm. listening. That idea's not half bad. What do you say? Then it's settled. Wonderful. Now, where to begin? It seems you've familiarized yourself with the basics of combat. Alright, cool. And what have we got here? So, skill. Alright, so we can select us on skill, increase it, bare-handed action, body tackle, alright, uh, let's rank up that. Okay, so you can actually, ooh, no, no, no. So you can actually unlearn as well, so that's pretty neat. done. Thrilling. Alright, Lamar, that copies make a great snack, but okay. we're not the only predators who know it. Exploded communication. Might as well rank up that as well at the same time. Okay, so okay, cool. So in the top right hand corner, we've got 56 out of 64. So you can sort of rank up as we go along. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I thought it was good to let you know. Uh, what that sort of looks like there. So um, basically, you can just increase your skill tree as well. Um, you probably don't want to go nuts at it straight away. You probably get yourself just sort of bedded into the game first, and just sort of work out, um, you know, what you guys may need. You can do, so by the looks of things, you can unlearn it, get back that skill point, and, and invest it into something else. So depending on what you want it to do. Um, by the by the looks of things, I could be wrong, but that's just my initial um, uh, imp uh, sorry impressions on it. So let's hit that e communication center. Let's accept the next mission. And what are we doing? Timid raptor hunt. Okay, so we're gonna have to get these raptors. So it might seem there's plenty to eat, but there's just too many predators and not not enough prey. The number of timid raptors will have to be culled. If we're going to feed all these new survivors, I know it's dirty work, but please go to the east, um, to the designated area, and w do what you can uh, to thin their numbers. Bring some bones as proof to the drop-off point. All right, so let's do it. So it looks like we're going to go kill some raptors. So drop-off point is here as well. Um, so if we need, once we've completed the mission there, so we have to go up to the east. So you can see Kay's little marker up there. So we're going to have to run away over here. There we go. There's some raptors. So hopefully they don't hunt in packs and they don't um, come at you. I'm just hoping we can, we can just sort of take one at a time. I think that's the best thing we can do. Because, yeah. <laughs> I think you can dodge and roll as well. So I think, you know, early starting of this game... Oops, no, 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 go back and get it taken down. Awesome. Okay. So, let's go collect up. Lake Mahone. Beautiful. Alright, so every time that you take, you know, um, items off an animal, you can see the little ticket um, at the bottom of the, uh, of the meat uh, example there. Uh, means how many times left you can harvest out of them too, so that's always a good thing. 
Uh, so I'm going to get one more Raptor and we've um, pretty much wrapped up this little mission here. So, I mean, look, with this, this is sort of more or less fail safe at the start, you know. You absolutely, you should be able to have no problems in taking the early animals down um, without any sort of issue. Um, I'm not really sort of uh, timing myself here. I'm just mucking around. So hopefully, you know, I'll take this guy soon enough. Kick him off down and we should be able to just lock this one out. There we go. There we go. Alright. Perfect. It looks like we're gonna look up as well and that reflects our health status as well. So that's always a good thing. So one one bone this time, three meat. Perfect. So we'll grab them all. to the drop-off point but these guys don't attack you unless if you uh, attack them it's the only time that you're gonna have trouble all right so let's run over to back to that drop-off point there and interact with this so the company I guess insert all right mission complete so we've got a little bit of rewards there there's something I want to show you just north Northern of the camp. camp if you see my stuff you you're on the right track all right go north up a little here and we'll see what she wants okay fair enough I'll leave that alone for now we'll discover a little bit later small door can you open it okay you must have entry from the owner sort of went down the wrong way that's okay okay Hot pretty air impressive okay. huh you wouldn't believe it. But it was worth every T-stone. Though, worth the company may not agree. Anyway, not let's agree. get cooking. Anyway, let's get cooking. Compies are best with a little char Mine's on them. The best, we'll char them on. Okay, how would you craft an item uh, with a heap of cooking yep, bonfire? Yep, it's fire. Yeah, okay. It cooks things. Self-explanatory. We'll show you how at the communication center. Okay, so I'm just going to show me at the communication center. So let's get back. And actually, you know what? It's actually quite neat how he's sort of trying to push it, push away, like you know, trees and branches and things like that. It sort of slows down your performance as well. So just looking at the realism of the game as well, which sort of interests me there too. Okay, so I'm gonna craft a bonfire skewer. Let's start the miss uh, mission. Okay, cooking food. Yep. Right. In progress. So, I think there's a bonfire here. So let's craft. So we craft. So obtain a level one or higher heated attribute item. So tap it to the skewer under crafting and cooking. So let's go cooking, skewer, craft. So I'm assuming we use that. Just got to do that one more time. We get one of those. There we go. Perfect. And we'll drop them off the drop-off point there. Okay, open that up. Moment, just I just realized I, I never explained. Now it may Very seem nice. a bit preposterous. A universe, okay. but all of the human civilization shares this. Okay. Master the wild? He can barely. Besides, Durango isn't as bad as you make it out to be. Okay. Oh, I'm not saying the untamed wilderness is without its virtues, Kay. 
Radio University is our chance to restore the benefit. Fair enough. You're all just trying to live and we're getting sidetracked. Go to the... All right, so basically with it just giving us a bit of a run through now, so we've already done all that. Crafting's done. Did a couple of little missions here or there today so i'm probably going to leave it here for today so hopefully you guys really enjoy the video uh let me know by hitting that like button there comment down below let me know um how we did here with this one here if you guys are new um make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel also the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos all right guys take it easy and we will catch you next time